In tonight's Health Watch, a frightening illness is causing polio-like symptoms in children in two states. But health officials know very little about the disease. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez here with what we do know so far. And it does sort of look like polio, but doctors actually don't understand it very well. Doctors suspect a virus in the polio family, but they aren't sure. It can cause at least partial paralysis. There's no vaccine or specific treatment, but the paralysis usually gets better. If it doesn't, delicate nerve surgery may help. I said, hey, buddy, can you lift your right arm? And he goes, I can't. That's how it started for four-year-old Orville Young. What looked like just a fever became acute flaccid myelitis, or AFM. At his worst, Orville was unable to move the upper part of his right arm and had difficulty moving his legs and sitting up. He had an abnormality through his entire spinal cord. Orville is just one of 38 confirmed cases of AFM this year, according to the CDC. 14 cases have been reported in Colorado and six in Minnesota, most of them in children. Camden Travers is one of those children. The three-year-old developed a runny nose and within days... He stopped being able to support his head. Yeah. Uh, his right arm function went away and he couldn't stand up. We don't have any effective treatments. And so often we don't know if, if the paralysis will be reversible. It wasn't reversible for two-year-old Maypelli Burns. The AFM attack caused Maypelli to lose all function in her right arm. She was playing normal kid. And my husband noticed that um, her arm was kind of just hanging there. To try to restore function to Maypelli, Dr. Mitchell Saruya at Children's Hospital Los Angeles is pioneering nerve transfer surgery. Doctors took nerves from her ribs and diaphragm and diverted them to her arm to make her fingers, wrist, and elbow bend and straighten. You have to get in there by 8 to 12 months, ideally, to fix the nerve. Uh, otherwise, the nerve loses its connection to the muscle. 18 months of intense physical therapy has restored some movement in Maypelli's elbow and hand. Now, Maypelli should continue to improve with more therapy. By the way, you should take your child to the hospital right away if he or she develops AFM symptoms like limb weakness, facial drooping, and trouble swallowing or speaking. Fortunately, AFM is extremely rare with only 100 to 150 total cases a year. And by the way, it has not been reported in the tri-state area, but you know, there's no guarantee that it'll stay out of our area.